Okay guys, I'm gonna try to sneak this video in here. This here is the Perception Hook 10.5 kayak. 10.5 angler to be exact. And I'm just gonna show you a few things that I've done to this bad boy to, uh, you know, make it ready for fishing. All right, so I'm gonna go through a few of the main things. Uh, I don't know if you all can see this light that I have rigged up here. This is just my emergency light that I kind of rigged up. I have a uh, separate video on this. Okay, so basically what it is, it's a bottle of water with a, a light inside. I'll unscrew this. You really can't see that too bright right now because it's we still have light. And inside I've got a uh, flashlight. That's how we shut it off, turn it on. Shut it down. I don't do a real lot of night fishing, but this is uh, not a bad little thing to have if you don't have, you know, wired lighting on your kayak. So we'll take this one out, set that aside. Um, I really don't carry that all the time on the yak, but some of the other major things that I've done is obviously I have the uh, this egg crate set up in the back here, back. I utilized the uh, bungees that came with it. That's basically just holding that down in place. Uh, I mounted my two rod holders on the inside. Okay, basically drilled some holes, put some tie wraps. And then on the bottom side, I just wrapped them around the bottom. Okay, so that's for those two rod holders there. We mounted another uh, rod holder up front. I got this one at Bass Pro. That's a that's a Scotty mount. That one's pretty good up front. So I carry mainly three rods. I also have this rig for my umbrella for foul weather that I carry. I stick that in the middle. I mounted a two inch pipe there and an inch and a half to slide this down inside. Okay, and I store it like that. Then when I need it, I just pull it out. Flip it around and I can stick the end in here and uh, set up the umbrella. You know, if it's raining, if it's sunny, for shade, it's nice to have. I, I have used this for a uh, wind seal also. Okay, so that's that set up. It's also good to have uh, something on board in case you have to, you know, drink a few beers and you can't get to shore or whatever. Uh, this is a really nice cooler that I use. I use this as a dry cooler. It fits perfectly inside the egg crate. This is a... What is that one? Oh, that's Arctic Zone. I got this at... Um, I got this at Walmart. It's a really nice little unit. It fits perfectly inside. Okay, so I have the cover. I have a few snacks in there. I've got my little music pod there. Underneath, I usually carry my uh, GoPro and, you know, some odds and ends, spare water. I keep my rain gear in there. Okay, so that works out perfectly. Uh, this I normally don't take, but this boat does have enough space where you can mount another bag in the back. So that's really nice. Uh, it's a very stable kayak. Uh, the hook. Also, what did I do to this thing? Okay, so originally... The paddle was mounted up front. You can see these two rounded sections here. And this yellow bungee here was across so that you hook, hook it on. But obviously you can't fight a fish if, you know, your paddle's sticking out in front of you. So I removed that. I removed that, um, the bungee there. And I installed it in the back here to hold my paddle in the back. I just put a little clip in the back here so that I can uh, hook it. Let me see if you can see that. Just mounted a little clip in the back there to hook that on. Okay, so that works out better here. You can find a fish, you can put it there. Most of the time I wind up just throwing it over the front, but uh, that works out good too, just putting that on the side. Uh, this unit does have a uh, an anchor trolley also. It's got an anchor, comes with an anchor, which I store in here. I rarely use that, but it's good to have one in case you need it. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? I put, I have a nice, nicely uh, mounted net up front here. This is a Ranger. It's a cheap one, but it works really good. I got this at Walmart, I think, also. 
this I just pull out when I need it and I have it on a tether which is right there and I'll show a few videos at the end uh, where I actually use this to catch a few uh, monster smallies uh, Got a nice six pound smallie fit right in this net worked out really nice so let me get that set back in there and I'll show you what else we have and right in the front I have it like I said bungee down tight right there so that's not going anywhere I have a little I keep my um this is like a little junk drawer I use as my uh you know my lures that I'm using at hand at the moment oh here I put my um scale spare pair of clippers I have here and also in this box here I just have some top water lures I have some uh nuts and so forth for my for my um spare nuts for my uh, spare stainless steel wing nut for my uh my uh, depth finder there okay this is homemade i'll show you how i did that in a second and yeah also i got some emergency stuff like uh lip balm uh, i got some you know, sun lotion and stuff in there. This is where I put my uh, fish lipper. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, so my mounted Garmin, I mounted it on the left side here. As you can see, you really don't need to have a flat mount. You can just, what I did is I put screws in the front. Here, let me take this off for you so you can see. Let's take this mount off flat surface all you have to do is improvise I put a little leg on that and just you have to make sure that your screw sits down flat so you can slide this into position like so okay so that works out really well Let's see if we can turn that on get a screen up the battery box for this I wired in uh, in the back here okay she's coming up on the screen now We'll do a traditional, obviously we're not in water, so check mark. This is an awesome unit, really, really nice. This is an older version, they have newer ones that are very similar, they have a few more features, but I've caught many, many fish uh, marking them with this Garmin, really nice rig. Um, so I've got a battery box behind the seat here, which is basically a, um, it's just like an ammo box. Plastic ammo box, okay. And I've got a beautiful battery in here, lithium battery. It's really lightweight. Okay, this thing is fantastic. It's kind of expensive. It's a Nakua. Okay, this is a 10 amp one. This is the high amp one. I also have some uh, rope in here for safety. Uh, I also have a splitter on that because I need to charge my phone off of this battery. So that all goes in there. Nice and neat. Actually, it will stay right in place. There's a flat spot, so it stays right there. So that works out really good. I store my uh, life preserver in the back. Normally, I wear it all the time, but for traveling, I store it back there. Also, on this unit, you're going to want to grab one of these seats here. This is a uh, CGI outdoor. I think I got this one online. It was like 20 bucks. Because the seat that's in this is okay, but you sit kind of low. And this gives you just higher support. And you don't need to do anything. Just sit it right in there and uh, sit right down. That'll form right in there nice, beautifully like that. Really comfortable, very comfortable unit. Okay, uh, what else do we do? We have a cooler in the front. This is where I keep my other cooler. This is another awesome cooler I've had for many years. I've had this like three years, I think. The Ozark Trail works flawlessly it'll hold three drinks uh four waters and two beers or four beers and two waters with with a little bit of ice it'll stay all day long okay i stick that right in between there and i have my pliers right in the front usually this has a net on the other side i keep my license there then it has a zipper on the side where i keep uh you know some napkins tissue inside of a plastic bag Okay, so that works out pretty good. And let's see, what else do we do? Okay, so this the, is my transducer that I 
made myself this mount, okay? So this is the down position for when I want to read. Uh, when I commence up pads, the lily pads, I'll just pull this back from the inside of the cockpit. I have a stop there. It'll hit the stop right here. And, you know, you can go through the weeds, through the pads, without getting stuff all, all over your transducer. And it's right at your hands, you know what I mean? When you come out of the pads, you just put it down like that, and it'll hit the stop, and you're reading perfectly. Okay, so that works really so well. this I just made out of a landscaping uh, border. I just cut it, cut it and bent it. Okay, I drilled this hole on the same line as the screws that hold your uh, foot pegs in on the inside. So it, this is above the water line, both of these. Even if it was below, it'd still be watertight. I have a rubber seal, a rubber gasket, like a rubber grommet, so that that holds nicely like that. And you can spin it and just tighten it each time. So when the water's hitting it this way, it's not gonna go anywhere because I have a stop. And when I put it up, you just tighten it like that. It'll stay up when you're going through the pads. That works out really well. So that's about everything here. Fairly nice starter rig for $500. I picked this one up for $450 on sale, so it's uh, not a bad rig, rigged up. I don't think there's a lot more I can do to it. Maybe I could hook some uh, exterior lights from my battery pack, but I don't go enough to, uh, to warrant that. I just have my uh, battery powered light. Works really, really well. All right, so we're gonna throw some clips at you of us catching some fish with this bad boy over here. Okay. And another nice thing about it, it fits nicely in the back of the Ram. Rebel, right, Bell? Oh, Bell, you're a doll. You're a doll. All right, we're gonna show them some clips now. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed that video on my uh, upgrades to my kayak, my kayak hacks on this particular perception. Uh, I think my son's gonna be taking this one over. I'm gonna be upgrading to a um, Old Town uh, MX. I'm, I'm looking at one of those, uh, you know, sit on top style. But this has worked out really nice for me for a couple of years here, so. Not a bad rig. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that. Let me throw some clips in uh, some fishing trips here. Thanks for watching, over and out. So, one last thing guys, I forgot a few things here. I keep my worm bags on the side, on each side. They tuck nicely on the side here. This is loaded with uh, Senkos, all kinds of worms and stuff, hooks. Uh, this bag, I keep all of my um, med rigs, you know, jig heads and stuff like that. Then in the back here, you can just, I have two cases to pull out, they fit perfectly. So those fit nicely on the side there like that. Works out well. So I got two bags, two cases, two bags. I've got more lures up front here. This rig I have for uh, hooked up for three rods. Usually a Ned rig, a worm, and a top bait. Then I change off, switch off with a spinner if I need to. Or a swim bait. John, that, that's a fucking six pound smallie right there. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh my God. That is the fucking biggest fucking. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my God. Fuck. Holy, that is, the, that's a seven pound smallmouth right there. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. I am shaking, man. That thing is huge. 